Hey guys, it's MJQ and I coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Look, a question I get all the time is what is the importance of carbohydrates post-workout? And look, there's, there's a lot of bro science about this floating around at the moment. I mean, you know, ranging from not doing carbs post-workout at all to doing the wrong types of carbs post-workout, there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of incorrect information about what, what is the importance of carbs post-workout. So on MJ Q&A, we're gonna address the importance of carbs post-workout, which really means addressing four different things. The first thing is what your body actually uses carbohydrates for when you eat carbs. The second thing is what sort of a state you're in post-workout. The third thing is what carbs are gonna be used for in that state post-workout. And then the last thing, probably the most important thing, is what sort of carbs are gonna be best for you post-workout? What's better than everything else? So let's address those one by one. Look, the first thing is, what does your body actually use carbohydrates for, generally, just when you're eating carbohydrates? So look, there's three things your body's gonna use carbs for. The first thing is, your body's gonna take those carbs, digest them, convert them to glycogen, and then send them into the bloodstream, and use that to really replenish glycogen or replenish blood sugar. So that's the first thing that your body's gonna use them for. Second thing your body's gonna use carbs for is energy. So it's gonna take that blood sugar that it's just sent to the bloodstream, and it's gonna burn it for energy in muscle cells. So that's the second thing your body uses carbs for. The third thing, and this is what we all wanna stay away from, but this is what there's a lot of bro science about as well, is if your glycogen levels are replenished and your body doesn't need that, those extra carbs, that glycogen for energy, your body will convert it to triglycerides and store it as body fat. So that's what you wanna stay away with. So those are the three things that your body uses carbohydrates for, generally, when you ingest them. Now, what sort of a state are you in post-workout? Look, let's say you've just trained, right? You've trained like an animal for an hour, an hour and a half, or two hours, however long you've trained for. You've really, what you've done during that training session is you, you've broken down muscle tissue, right? You've stimulated muscle growth. You've also depleted your energy systems. So you've depleted blood sugar, you've depleted glycogen because you've used it for energy. You've depleted adenosine triphosphate during, with your phosphate energy system. So you're in this very depleted state post-workout or what we call a catabolic state, which is a breakdown state. Not a very good state to be in post-workout, but that's, that's the state that you are in. So the third thing now is what are carbohydrates used for during that catabolic state post-workout? So if you think back to what I just discussed a couple of minutes ago, three things your body uses carbs for, glycogen replenishment, energy, storing them as triglycerides or fats, Post-workout, you're in that depleted state, your glycogen levels are low, you get those carbs into your post-workout, they're gonna be used for one thing and one thing only, and that's replenishing gly uh, glycogen or replenishing blood sugar. So you have carbs post-workout, body converts them to glycogen, sends them into the bloodstream, and replenishes that blood sugar that you've just depleted during your hour, hour, and a half, two hours of training. There is a little bit of a catch though, and this is something that really only happens when you're in this catabolic state and have carbohydrates. Not only does your body replenish glycogen or replenish blood sugar, but a kind of side effect of that in your body is your body starts to do this thing, it, it secretes insulin from your pancreas. Now insulin is the most anabolic hormone in the human body, even more anabolic than testosterone. And what insulin actually does is insulin will tell your body what to do with the food that you're currently digesting. So when insulin levels are low, it tells your body, look, digest food, send it to the bloodstream, and do with it as, as you need. When insulin levels are high, or when insulin levels are what we call spiked, tells your body, look, everything I'm digesting at the moment, take it and ram it into muscle cells, shove it in there, and, and give the muscles what they want. Put me in what we call an anabolic state. So you're having these carbs post-workout, not only are you replenishing this glycogen and getting you out of this catabolic or depleted state, but you're also causing an insulin spike. So you, with, with everything else that's in that shake, your protein, your creatine, your glutamine, whatever else you're having, you've got this insulin telling your body, look, take all of that, that wonderful stuff that's in my post-workout shake and shove it into muscle cells. That's where you want it to be. So that's why carbohydrates are so important post-workout, possibly even more important 
than, than the protein that you have and that everyone knows is important post-workout because they really become the transport system for that protein post-workout and shove it into muscle cells. So look, the fourth thing is, and I know this question's coming up, so I'm gonna answer it right now. What type of carbohydrates are the best carbohydrates to have post-workout? Well, look, we just addressed what your body's gonna do with those carbs. It's gonna convert them to glycogen and then raise blood sugar levels. So the best type of carbohydrates to have post-workout, the carbohydrates that are gonna do that as fast as possible, because that's what's gonna give you the biggest insulin response. So you're looking for a simple carb that's digested really easily with a really, really high glycemic index or a really high GI. There's one carbohydrate that ticks both of those boxes. That carbohydrate is 100% dextrose. So 100% dextrose, get that in your post-workout shape. The general rule of thumb is about half a gram per kilogram of lean body weight. So if you weigh 100 kilos, you're looking for about 50 grams of dextrose post-workout. Take your weight, divide it by two, convert it to grams, get that in your post-workout shape. And that's really gonna supercharge that post-workout shape of yours. So that's the answer to the question, what's the importance of carbs post-workout? Plus a little bit, the few, few bits and pieces I've thrown on the end there. Look, if you've got any questions you want answered, please drop us an email at QA, that's the letter Q, A, at massivejoes.com, and you may get an answer to your question in the next MJ Q&A video brought to you by massivejoes.com.